Hi Sparky, how are you doing? What's that? You wish you had a teleport machine? Okay, well where would you teleport to? The park! Why would you teleport to the park when you could just walk there? Okay Sparky, well I'm not convinced but we'll think on it while we watch this week's Spark Kids. Before Jesus disappeared into the cloud, he told his disciples to go out into the world and make disciples out of all people and baptise them. The timing was perfect as the Roman Empire had brought peace and good road networks and soon the disciples and new believers were travelling far and wide to teach people about Jesus. One day God told Philip to go to a particular road. When he was there a chariot came along and God told him to get in. Inside he found the treasurer to the great queen Candace of the Ethiopians, who was reading Isaiah. Philip explained to him as they travelled, and when he saw some water outside, the official asked to be baptised. Philip baptised him. Then, when he came out of the water, Philip disappeared, and found himself transported to a place called Azotus, where he continued travelling and preaching the gospel. The official went back to Ethiopia, praising and rejoicing. Later, Paul and Barnabas sailed to Cyprus, where they were teaching and preaching, when they met a leader and magician. The leader wanted to hear what they had to say, but the magician wanted to stop them. But Paul was filled with the Holy Spirit and looked at him and said, You are the son of the devil, an enemy to all goodness, full of lies and wickedness. Will you not stop trying to mess up God's work? Now the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you will be blind for some time. Immediately the magician could not see, and the leader believed. Next, Paul and Barnabas set sail for Antioch. There they spoke about Jesus in the synagogue, and everyone was very interested and excited. And the next Saturday, almost the whole city gathered to hear them. But the Jewish leaders were jealous and started to argue with them. But Paul and Barnabas spoke up and told everyone that the Gentiles could now be part of God's way too. The Gentiles began celebrating and praising God and many of them decided to follow Jesus. But the Jews went and convinced the leaders to chase Paul and Barnabas out of the city. But they shook the dust from their feet and went on to Iconium, where they spoke about Jesus. Then on to Lystra, where Paul prayed for a man who couldn't walk and he was healed. Paul began to preach there too and all the people were listening. But people had chased them all the way from Iconium and Antioch and they started throwing stones at Paul. They thought he was dead and dragged him out of the city. But when the disciples got to him, he stood up. The next day, they travelled onwards to a place called Derby. Like this, the good news about Jesus started to spread over the world. And in fact, it continued to spread over the next hundreds and thousands of years. And as Christians, we are still on the same mission. Hey Spark Kids, is there something that if you get started on it, you just can't stop talking about it? Maybe like your favourite TV show, maybe unicorns, maybe dinosaurs, maybe Paw Patrol or excavators and diggers, maybe animals, I don't know. But if someone asks you a question, you just can't keep going on and on and you can't keep thinking of new things about it and you just can't stop talking about it because you're just so excited about it and it's so amazing and, 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 oh, you just can't stop. Now, that's a bit what it was like for the believers at this time that we're looking at in Acts in the early church, just when Jesus had gone, because they had found out the most amazing, mind-blowing, incredible thing ever that a man had risen from the dead. What? And not only had he risen from the dead, but he'd broken down all the barriers between people and between God. He had defeated sin forever, the thing that we all fight against every day. They just couldn't stop going on and on and on and on and on about it. They knew that absolutely everyone everywhere had to hear this incredible news. And so they told everyone. 
They did exactly what Jesus had told them to do, to spread the news everywhere. And guess what, Spark Kids? That is still our job today. We might think, oh, the gospel spread all over the world already. We saw the map in, in the Play Bible. It's already happened. But the world keeps changing and new people are born and new people grow up. And at every time, in every place, every generation needs to hear the amazing, mind-blowing, incredible news that Jesus died for them. Every place, every community needs the amazing news of just Jesus' gospel in a way that connects directly to them. It wouldn't work to tell people the gospel in a language they don't understand. And it's just like that. We need to convey it to people in a way that they understand. And we are the ones to do it. Whether it's in your school, in your family, in your football team, your after school club, your block of flats or your community, you're the one in the perfect place to tell them all about Jesus, to tell them about his amazing love, about Jesus' sacrifice to rescue us and his, to spend an eternal life with God. And as we pray, and we spend time with God and we go to church and we read the Bible. He'll give us the strength, the courage, wisdom and ideas to spread his incredible news with everyone everywhere. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that your good news is for everyone everywhere. Please help me show people how amazing you are. Amen. See you next week. So you see, Sparky, God did really teleport someone in the story. How exciting was that? <laughs> Do I think that God will teleport you to the park? Mm, I hate to break it to you, Sparky, but probably not. <laughs> I know, I know, but I've got a super exciting craft for us. We have got this super cool map of the world that we are making this week. And to do this, all we need is a bit of paper and an old tea bag. <laughs> do I think that that's what the pirates did? Mm, probably not, Sparky. I think, I know, I think that they just probably had an old map. See you next week.